Today's video has been a long time coming. 10 months, actually. Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. Today is August 29th, and this cabinet behind me has been stored in my garage since the beginning of December. It just about broke my heart. This is in such great condition. And I'm, some people are going to think I ruined it by painting it. I didn't ruin it. I just, I just didn't, something didn't work out right. I did something wrong. I, so I went to the garage. Let me just start at the beginning and take you back to the day that I bought this piece. I bought a gigantic, beautiful Ethan Allen cabinet for a really, really good deal. And I am going to take this cabinet and put it in my dining room where my mid-century piece is. And I measured it and it should fit in there and I'm gonna paint it. Cause I kind of think outside the box. I don't know if anyone else would have thought to turn this cabinet into a pantry. Look at that, it's here. Now, it's not pushed back. I've got plenty of room still. Now to get it pushed back and ready for paint. Yay! I would like to start this project off with noting that it took me two weeks to get started. I just looked at it and looked at it and looked at it I can't decide on a color, but I knew it needed primed. So finally, I got done with dinner, got up and started tearing it apart. I just knew it was going to be making my house a wreck for a week or two. Man, I am glad to have that glass out. It was heavy. It was sharp. I only cut my finger twice, and I didn't even realize it until I seen blood running down the glass. Isn't that great? But anyway, it's out, it's safely stored, and I am going to take the doors off. I actually realized the glass was being held in by these pieces. It snugged right up next to it, gave it a real finished, good finished line, and was easy to remove. I was so excited to see that. It made the job a whole lot easier for sure. This piece is in pretty good shape. It had been at the uh, antique store for a couple of months, maybe even a year, and he brought the price way down and I snapped it up. But anyway, it it's in good shape. It's not all scratched up. It was just kind of oily. People touching it and opening the doors, all of that kind of stuff needed a good scrub, and that is exactly what I did. I used a squirt of Dawn dish soap in a bowl of real warm water and just went through and knocked off most of the grunge from fingerprints and such. And here we are with the first stroke of primer. I go through and primer every living inch of this thing. And man, this has been a lot of work and I haven't even done anything. But removing, I, I very much underestimated how much hardware holds all of this together. And how much surface there is that you have to clean. I plan to give it two coats of primer. And I've not picked the color yet. I have a few ideas in mind and then I will give everything two coats of paint. I am showing a lot of footage of this prime coat job simply because likely I'm going to paint this a light color and the transformation won't be 
as drastic. Here it's going from dark to light, and that's why I'm including it, so you won't have to watch me paint it afterwards. This footage was shot in early November, and it was so hot outside, and that rarely ever happens here in the Midwest. We usually have some pretty cool temperatures by November. Actually, I believe we may have even had to turn the air on, which is unheard of. This is what I hoped to accomplish today. If I get any more done, particularly these cabinets down here on the ends, I will feel like I'm winning. I just can't stop looking at it. Look at how bright it is. Good night, bright cabinet. The very next day, I spent a lot of time in front of my TV, removing all the hardware and cleaning all of these pieces. There's shelves, there's doors, there's big doors. Uh, anyway, I sat in front of my TV and watched the Christmas Hallmark Channel. I knew I would be getting all new hardware and getting rid of some of the, I'm not gonna have two handles on one drawer. So I went ahead and filled everything in. And I filled from the back side, all of the holes on the doors and when that dries, I'll flip them over and fill the other side, the outside, the front side. And then I'll sand everything. Good night again, bright cabinet. So here in Missouri, it's, uh, I think this weekend is deer season and the hubby is going to be out of town. I'm going to have a couple of days where I don't have to even think about him. I can leave the house a mess and fill his whole chair with junk if I want. But anyways, I'm really going to crack on to this project and try to get as far as I can with it being done. A lot of time takes for the drying process. So I'm kind of doing two parts, the main piece and then the doors and the shelves. So each thing has a chance to dry overnight. These shelves have glass uh, for the middles, and I don't really, really want glass inside here since I'll be using it as a pantry. So the whole time I'm painting this, I'm really considering what is it I wanna do. Shall I buy some Luan and you know cut it to the same size as the glass and put a solid wood in it? And if that's the case, I'm gonna have to paint it. But anyway, I still haven't decided. It took me two days to do all this. I did one side and then the other side a day later, and I still don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a solid middle and not use the glass. Before I started with these drawers, I did tape off around the edges. I'm trying to keep this as neat as possible. Lord knows that for whatever reason, I don't like this. I still want to be able to sell it and get my money's worth. No! 
Oh my. You were just asleep, my goodness. Hey, it's okay. They're just playing outside. It's okay. It's okay. So I was about to say I had my little friend watching me paint all day. Well, I guess about, I think I'm just finished my fourth hour. And I have painted one side of almost everything. I still have the other side. I have two more doors right here. I'm painting the back sides of them. Um, when I get this, these two done, I'll be done with them. There's some doors down there. The other sides are not painted. And my drawers are over here. So my goal, maybe I'll make it, is to get everything one coat on one side tonight. Again, I'm just sat up and I'm watching the Hallmark Channel with my little friend hanging out with me. Shorty. It's a good baby. She's a good protector. Thank you. I did this four times for the one side, and in a couple of days, I'll do the other side. I have everything else, a coat of paint on, except for down here, because um, I think I'm gonna tape the floor. This piece is giant. I. I can slide it myself, but I can't lift it. So I'm going to tape around the floor and then paint the trim. Make sure I don't get any on my flooring. First coat of paint in the corners and the lines. Tomorrow, I will roll the first coat of paint. Good night, little white cabinet. Here we go, one full coat on the inside. Most of it looks really good. The bottoms are looking pretty good. Uh, the backs will for sure need another coat and probably the sides. Okay, it's not working. Uh, my paint is peeling and chipping and it's like not even drying. I don't know it's been stirred, it's been everything, the house is heated, everything, it's not working. So, I am so upset with this, I've spent the whole day crying. I am moving it to the garage because the whole thing needs sanded. Possibly, I'm gonna have to put stripper on it, I'm not exactly sure, but I can't have this mess in my house anymore. We're at about five weeks of the house just being destroyed. And it's almost Christmas and I wanna feel happy so we're moving it to the garage. Hopefully by the time I actually put this video out, um, I'll tell you this whole story. It'll be spring probably. Here it is. Today is November the 28th. So it went to the garage. 
it completely dried out and cured and lived its happy little life out there. And I just went and rescued it, brought it in here. This is my office, so it's not right out in front of everybody in my dining room. So if it doesn't look great, I don't care. But I am going to do some stuff to this just to bring it back inside and begin to use it. There's massive loads of storage in this cabinet and that's why I bought it. I don't know if I'll use it as a pantry. I might just use it as all of my knickknack patty wax that's everywhere right now in my office. It drives me crazy. I am going to just use what I have, the paint. Actually, I checked it, it did sit in the garage with this all winter long and when I opened the can of paint it had totally separated and was no good. So I think that paint was bad. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I then, in the middle of winter, I was bored. I went out and did this black. I thought I wanted to paint it back black, and that is black chalk paint. And something happened. I think we bought a property, and it just got put on the wayside, and I started working on the duplex, I believe. Um, so now, I don't have any of that paint left. I am going to use a couple of cans of white spray paint and just paint the stuff and get it hung back up and get the glass. This side of my office is off limits. You gotta be real careful. All the glass is piled up over here and I'm sick of it. I'm sick to death of the disaster that this cabinet has made for my life since last November. I decided I'm just gonna deal with it. I'm gonna try to make do. I have taken these two doors. When I began to paint it black, I just picked up what was close to me. I painted these two things to make sure I liked it. I also painted the side, which we won't know. I will go through and touch up that in the little top corner up here so you won't see it because you'll never see that over there for now until I know what I'm gonna do. But I had painted these two doors black, so I took them out, spray painted them. I applied multiple thin coats to everything. I have the bottom doors were both also painted black, and I am spray painting them. Soon, it will be put back together after 10 months. <laughs> Look at that, back together after only 10 months. I couldn't even help myself. I started putting a few things in just to try to clean this nightmare mess up. Anyway, I ordered new handles for everything and I'll be back when I get them. Can't wait. So the left side of this cabinet not being fully painted black was driving me bananas. And I tried to disguise it here with a few little pieces and, you know, just hide it. But I just knew it was there. So I went ahead, pulled the shelves out, threw the paint at it, and finished it off. And I am so glad that I did. At least it's symmetrical for now.
My long-term goal for this cabinet is to eventually paint it in the color Pashmina by Benjamin Moore. I think the champagne brass handles would look stunning over this color. I am absolutely in love with these matching colors and every one of these different shades. As far as I can see it, I can't go wrong using this color. Here are a couple of samples of it. What do you guys think? As with any of these videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on the junk side. Take care. Until next time.